Good morning, Britain. A stunning victory for the Hammers. <laughs> West Ham win their first European trophy for nearly 60 years after a tense final in Prague. Finished with a 2-1 win against Fiorentina in the Europa Conference League final. Overnight, though, right police have clashed with small groups of fans as flares were lit and bottles were thrown. Meanwhile, on the pitch, the Fiorentina captain suffered a head injury during the game when objects were hurled from the stands. Summer of strikes. 2,000 staff at Heathrow Airport will walk out for 31 days later this month with the potential to cause chaos during the busiest holiday period. Do you still sleep with the teddy bear? Love Island's Molly took one into the villa. Apparently, she's not alone as seven million people take a stuffed toy to bed with them. Is it cute or just a little creepy? Debating that a little bit later on. And Emma and Matt Willis are gearing up for a 60-mile trek around the wilds of Northumberland after the surprise news that Matt's going to be competing in Emma's Cooking with the Stars show. How will the couple cope? If things get heated in the kitchen, they're live in the studio after seven. Another cloudy start to the day, brightening up for what could be the warmest day of the year, but things hotting up into the weekend as thunderstorms look set to arrive. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Thursday, 8th of June, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Oh, it kills me to do this. I'm forever though. Come there on, you go. irons. Honestly, they've just given me a bubble machine. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here for the next three hours just blowing bubbles. Um, look, <laughs> congratulations to West Ham. I remember, it was only a couple of weeks ago, Ben, that you and I were talking about the fact that you might not even be in the Premier League anymore. We had endless conversations about where Palace were, where West Ham were, and then you were safe, and then were we going to be safe, and what was going on, and then Europe was happening still, and actually, <laughs> would we stay in the Premier League at all? And then suddenly we kept going in Europe, and then all of a sudden, last night, it all came together! Woo! Wow! And it almost came together with you right there in oh. the stadium. Tell us what happened. So we had a very last-minute call from our <laughs> editor who, um, who said... Ben, Susanna said... Yeah, Susanna said, <laughs> Ben, we've got to get yourself out to... to for, for one reason or another, I wasn't going to go to Prague. Uh, the boys are doing their A-levels and GCSEs at the moment, and a lot of my friends weren't going to go, so I thought, I'll stay here. And then the decision was, let's see if we can get there last minute. Yes. So I was booked on a plane. Yes. I got to Gatwick, got checked in to go onto the plane, which should have landed in plenty of time for kickoff. The plane then got delayed <gasps> for over two hours, which meant had we taken off, we would have landed with about... 20 minutes to go before kickoff. It's about a 45 minute drive. Aww. And then the question was, would we even get in before half time? So then we started looking at trying to get to Heathrow. <laughs> and the flight from Heathrow, suddenly the seats went really quickly. And then it was a dash to Luton to get a Wizz Air flight from Luton. And by the time I'd managed to get out of Gatwick, because obviously you have, to, you have to be sort of uh, checked off the plane. If Escorted you're not out. Because you realise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by, the, by the time, it's quite hard to get off a plane, by the way. <laughs> If you've not got... I mean, you think it's hard getting into an airport, getting out of an airport, <laughs> when you're really up against it time-wise, it's a nightmare. Uh, the lovely woman at EasyJet managed to get me off quite quickly, get me through <laughs> customs eventually and through passport control, but it was too late by then. So, in the end, we cut our losses. I went home. <laughs> I sat at home with my kids and my best mate from school. Oh, that's and the way to do it. Even Annie sat through it as well. Uh, I'd been panicking all day because I couldn't remember which of my West Ham shirts was my lucky one. So through the day, I was basically changing my West Ham shirt <laughs> like because I was so pack. worried. <laughs> no, the pants stay the same, Kate. Uh, and it was just, you know, it's one of those... I, I still can't quite believe it. It still no. feels very, very oh, surreal. No. Very surreal. I can't Obviously imagine. disappointed not to be there. I know Jonathan Swain was out there and was able to go. This is, <laughs> this is us last night <laughs> once uh, yeah. Ben Rama scored his penalty. <laughs> <laughs> that is abs oh, absolutely oh. brilliant. And then this is the moment when they lift the trophy. The most successful team in Europe right now. Yes, an English team. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we are flying the flag. Obviously, uh, it's just the most extraordinary thing. As, a, as you know, as a team that 
We I haven't... don't know, sir. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, but as a team that doesn't necessarily compete for many trophies, we've yeah. not been able to over the years. We've had a tough season with relegation as well. Yes. The fact that we got to the final in the first place, yes. semi-final last year, got to the final this year uh, for, of a European a final, and then to lift the trophy. I mean, it's... I, we. My experience of watching West Ham is valiant defeat. We played brilliantly in defeat, but at the end of the day, someone beats us. Yesterday, we didn't play particularly well, and we won! Brilliant. It just doesn't make it's any brilliant. sense. And we're indulging, we're indulging you a little bit this morning, uh, because our main news... Also, by the way, as you may know, West Ham legend Julian Dix is coming in. Yeah, I mean, what a day. I mean, a hammer time. Yeah. The legend, absolute hero. Can't wait to see what his thoughts are. He's worn the shirt, he's played for the club. Well, one of his themes in his book is that football has gone soft. Players don't celebrate into the night and uh, early hours like yeah. they used to. And um, and the footballers just aren't as tough as as they used to make them. Well, I wonder if that's true out in Prague. I think there is a lot of celebrating still going on. I can on. imagine. Uh, West Ham, you may know, have made footballing history. <laughs> they uh, beat Fiorentina 2-1 in Prague to win the Europa Conference League. Uh, a 90th minute goal from Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen, of course. Danny Dyer's partner. Danny Dyer's partner. There is a new dad. A new dad just, just had, had twins. twins. <laughs> I mean, what a way. His father-in-law is Danny Dyer, who made TV history on this programme. <laughs> yes, didn't of course. He? Uh, uh, has Danny Dyer got his trotters up in Europe at the moment? <laughs> That's what I want <laughs> well, to know. I hope so. Uh, Jared Burns secured the club's first European trophy for nearly 60 years, and a victory parade is going to be held in East London tonight. Sadly, there was trouble later on in Prague's O-Town. Some fans clashed with riot mm. police, pelting them with bottles and missiles. The club has also warned it will ban supporters who threw objects onto the pitch during the final, one of which cut the head of the Fiorentina captain. Yeah, uh, Jonathan nasty. Swain is in Prague for us uh, this morning. I I'm not sure whether Prague has recovered. Jonathan, <laughs> I certainly haven't.